Hi, Taurus. Let's see if we can get a message through from your person today. Just know, if this reading doesn't resonate, check out your other sign positions, your moon, rising, or Venus. Sometimes those will resonate a little bit better, but also check out the wild card in case none of those <laughs> readings resonate. The wild card may pick up your energy also. I do the wild card to give us an extra chance for me to tap into more energy. Let's go ahead and jump into your cards. I'm doing it different this week. I've done uh, pre-shuffled and got all your cards stacked. We've got a lot to go through, y'all. Yes, we do. Let's pull it out, see who's coming forward. First energy card. A woman holding a heart. Woman holding a heart. Ooh, 44. Mm, hang on to that energy. Let's see what else. What is it about the woman? Strategy. Strategy. Some money strategizing. Uh, making plans or, yeah. Mm -mm -mm, okay. And deceit. Wow. What do we have here for my Taurus? Woman holding the heart. Strategy, deceit, deceit. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing rumor, gossip, talking bad, talking bad. Mm. Okay, we're definitely picking up a divine feminine energy. Uh, I'm not seeing this as your energy or your or your person's energy. It's like a third party interference kind of energy. Uh, somebody, uh, this could be an ex, this could be a family member, just somebody that's a naysayer that doesn't like your person, seems to be strategizing some ways to spread some gossip, deceit, deceitful kind of uh, things. Someone, some deceitful seeds, gossipy. Think gossip, because I keep hearing like, Gossip, rumor, telling lies about me, things like that. Let's pull the cards and see. Let's pull on the woman. Got a page of swords. So we might be dealing with somebody that's uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or, or Aquarius. But I'm also hearing uh, some of the deceits or, or rumor or lie has something to do about children. Heart, oh, heartache, heartache. It's, this actually may be a an ex, an ex of your person, Taurus. Um, so yeah, cause it seems to be indicating they're they're like got a broken heart, broken heart. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> Pay page of cups. We've got a lot of page here. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, uh, wow, okay, so we got somebody that's, uh, broken hearted, but acting a little bit immature about, uh, uh, the breakup, I hate saying it, just, you know, being naive, running amok with their emotions, because they're dreaming up ideas, strategizing, dreaming up ideas, strategizing, guys, on how to spread some deceit and, and gossip, you know, lies, rumors, bad things you, to give your person a bad rap with you. Oh, let's see on the strategy card what's going on with that one. We've got a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Oh, let's hold on to that. Let me see what was going on. Emperor, Emperor, chess piece strategy, strategy. They are definitely trying to figure out. Ow. <laughs> Let's hold on to that Capricorn at Queen of Pentacles a minute. Hair font. Hair font. Okay. So, most definitely what I'm picking up for the majority of us, this is going to be an ex. An ex of our partners. Oh, um... <clears throat> Or it actually could be your ex. You fit that energy how you need to. But whoever it is, it's it's definitely a feminine energy, broken heart. They're they're really upset because uh, they whoever they were in the relationship with, it could have been a an actual marriage. It was a committed relationship, and um, it's like our our queen here. This Capricorn energy is like. <laughs> I, I want, I want it back. 
I want it back. They want their emperor back. And they're mad. That, uh, I'm also hearing like revenge. They want some revenge because they're hurt. Let's see what's coming in on Deceit. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Mm hmm Strategizing, thinking, uh -huh. thinking up new new ideas, new ways, dreaming up some new ideas and new ways uh, to um, slander um, this person. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> skills of justice. They want karma and they're not willing to wait for karma, the law of karma, to inflict it. They want it to inflict it themselves. They want some revenge. They want justice. Because they feel like they've been hurt. Mm -hmm. And then we have an Ace of Cups. They're, yeah, they're, they're passionate about it. They're holding that uh, heart space. Like I said, I get a sense of they want their emperor back. They want their partner back. But they're also feeling good. It makes them feel really good. The one thing, you, she's got that dreamy satisfied look like ooh, sitting back because all the, all this that uh, this person is dreaming up trying to strategize come up with they're feeling good they're feeling good especially if they're pulling some of it off making your uh your person look bad spreading those rumors spread, uh, sowing seeds of doubt uh about the character uh the character of your person so yeah let's pull the island time wellness let's see what's coming out with these we're coming over, back over here to the woman holding the heart stoked <laughs> riding the wave of positive manifestation excited dream come true great things happening oh we just talked about the way they're coming across with that capricorn queen of pentacles they're stoked they're stoked about what they're doing. And they get, they're getting a lot of enjoyment out of feeling like they are getting scales of justice. You know, some justice. Back for what happened, you know, what happened in their connect, the connection that broke their heart. Next one, coming over here to our strategy. Trust issues. Ooh. Ascertain if trust issues are justified or unjustified. Trust is imperative to feeling safe and secure. Yeah, they're trying to sow seeds of doubt about uh, your person's character and their trustworthiness. But we're being told to really ascertain if trust issues are justified or unjustified. Let's come over here to the deceit. Must list. Be unapologetic, be unapologetically self-loving. Decide on must-haves, then release it to the universe. Ow. So this person is like is trying to figure out what's the worst thing they could say some doubt about this person characters that is a must on your list because they really want to break you up. They really want to, to make sure you don't have come through on that ace of cups that uh, new uh love that uh, ace of cups also is heart space it's new love new blessings that kind of thing a new interest this person wants to get to exact some revenge on that new love so yeah let's come back over here on the stake and see what else we'll get worthiness know your worth the universe can only bring you what you know you deserve you can have it all Oh, worthiness. Ow. And we're popping right after that must list. This person is going to really try their best to discredit, sow seeds of doubt, uh, and uh, break up any, uh, and try to ensure they mess up uh, the, their, this person, your person's uh, new love and new blessings. Yeah, because they don't, they don't feel like there's any blessings for them. Why should they allow your person to have any blessings? I mean, it's, it's, they want karma, instant karma. And, and, and the law of karma is not working quick enough for them. They're going to get it themselves. Coming on the trust issues. 
the guarded heart, lingering trust issues, oh, trust again, fear from past hurts, love can't get through that wall, forgive and let go, mm -hmm. they're having a real, this person, this lady with the heart is having a really hard time forget, forgive and let go, not possible. The lingering trust issues, they want to absolutely sow seeds of doubt and, and you know, tarnish the character of your person as being not a trustworthy person. So, yeah. Mm. Where love can't, they want, they want to cause you to build a wall between you and your person. See what's coming in on the must list. Destructive habits, addictions to gambling, alcohol, sex, negatively impacting relationships, toxic thinking and behavior. That's probably part of the gossip, deceit, and seeds they're trying to sow and, and make sure uh, you, you get those seeds to you somehow where, you know, and just destroy this person's character a little bit. So, yeah. Let's see how this is playing out. We're using the Romance Angel Oracles on these. See how that energy is playing out for, for you in your connection right now. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's between you and your person. There's a lot of chemistry. Yeah. And that's killing this person. They don't like it. Mm -mm. Next one. On that trust. Guarded heart. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Mm, a lot of passion. They can't stand that either because they ain't got no blessing in their life right now. Oh, but mm, yeah. Let's see what's coming in on the deceit card. Deception. <laughs> Gosh. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They are truly trying to convince you uh, that your person is not who they're coming across as being that they are a player and not trustworthy and oh, they're going to go on and on and on about every possible bad thing about your person and they're, they're going to try to spread it and, can, and make sure that you're hearing it, that it's coming to your ear. Or to your eyes, if you're, you know, through social media where you can read it, they want to sow those seeds. Yeah, they're definitely trying. Our messages, I'm using some of my old message cards that I made and index cards. That's the reason I have not, I went ahead and shuffled out because y'all know I'm cheap. I use bad quality index cards. It takes a long time to get them out. First message. And I got it upside down. I'm not the same person anymore. Oh. Oh. So some of the stuff that this lady with the hearts is saying may actually hold a little bit of truth. But it's past truth about your person. Because they're saying I'm not the same person anymore. My feelings are real. My feelings were real. I'm wanting to say are real. And take the past tense off. Yeah. There are too many things working against us. Mm, yeah. The character. The, the doubt and stuff about their character. I don't feel like you really see me. See the real me. Yeah. They're worried that uh, you have been influenced by some of the gossip and rumor about them. You are my hope. You are my hope. Yep. And you're my true love. True love. It's true love. I just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. There is only you. There is only you. I didn't know what I was missing until I met you. Wow, okay. Ooh. Taurus. Mm. You are my everything. Oh my goodness, I like that. 
I love you and care for you more than you will ever know. And y'all know my cards are going to stick together on me. There's no meaning in life without you. I want to shield and protect you from those who hurt you. Oh, yes. And, and I, I'm really a shield and protect you from this person uh, trying to break y'all up, trying to, you know, ruin your connection. They really do want to uh, shield you from that one. I have never opened myself up to anyone like I have with you. There is so much I need to say. Y'all know I can never get these cards apart. You would never believe me if I told you how I feel. And you thought, yeah, they're worried about that you have already been influenced by the by rumors, by gossip, yeah. And are are and, and are are already doubting them. You're all I ever wanted. Oh. I'm hoping and praying. Oh, yeah. I know you are the one for me. I want to tell you everything. I want to tell you everything, yeah. I'm trying to trust that we will be together. Yeah. Yeah, I can sense your person is really feeling like that. Uh, this person is wanting to get that revenge, balance the skills of justice. They're really uh, scared that it, it's going to work. That she... That, they're going to ruin your connection. So, yeah. I feel like you are not sure about what you want. Yeah. I want to be more than friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't do that. Let's just be friends because this person is like, no, I can't do that. I'm already in love with you. I, you know, I can't just... Go back to just, let's be friends. I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. Oh. I hope and wish that you notice me. Oh, okay. Those two would be coming in together. They're hoping that you recognize and notice that they'll do whatever it takes to keep your to keep you to keep your relationship together. I want you to trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My past still haunts me. Yeah. Like I said, there might be a little. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. Some of what our lady holding the heart, wanting that little bit of revenge, <laughs> spread some gossip. Some of what she may be saying may actually be true of the past. So, yeah. I'm not the same person anymore. My past still haunts me. Yeah. So, wow. I love you. I love you. Oh. And take a chance. Take a chance on me. Yeah, oh my Taurus. Take a chance. Our next ones are the Rose Deck. Mind games. Oh, mind games. There's mind games going on. Third party interference. Mind games. Yeah. You know. I want to leave the past behind and move on. Yeah, they, yeah. Especially their past. I feel like I have been missing you my whole life. Oh. I'm worried that you are losing interest. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're worried that, you, yeah, you might be believing in, you know, some of the stuff. You feed my soul in ways that no one else can. Oh. I became discouraged by all the obstacles. I'm wanting to say I'm I'm becoming discouraged by all the obstacles or what feels like challenges, obstacles uh, that this person keeps throwing out. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping and praying. Yeah. Is that, um, that might have been our second one on hoping and praying. And our last one, you're everything I ever wanted but could never have. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, my Taurus, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love, light, many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.